When I open my mouth, those who listen to me know straight away that I was not born in Australia. However, people find it difficult to correctly identify my native country. Brothers and sisters, you might remember a story about St. Peter's denial of Jesus after Christ's arrest. A servant girl came up to him and said, You too were with Jesus the Galilean. Then another girl said to the people about Peter, This man was with Jesus the Nazarene. A little later, the bystanders came up and said to Peter, You are one of them for sure. Your accent gives you away. Three times Peter denied that he knew Jesus. However, it was obvious to those around him that he was lying. After his denials, he said nothing. Of course, our external features and the way we speak give us away. But our silence betrays us sometimes as well. When people should proclaim that they believe in God, but they say nothing, their silence betrays their true colors. When some Catholics have an opportunity to defend the Church, but don't say anything, their silence betrays them. When parents should correct bad behavior of their children, but say nothing, their silence exposes that they are not serious about raising their kids well. When we go to Sunday Mass and don't invite our family members to join us, our silence betrays us as well. Both our spoken words and our silence indicate to other people who we really are. Dear friends, whether we like it or not, our true intentions are usually expressed by the kind of sentences we use in our daily life. Today's first reading covers this matter three times. Let me quote. The defects of a man appear in his talk. The test of a man is in his conversation. A man's words betray what he feels. St. Luke confirmed the truth of these statements when he wrote, A man's words flow out of what fills his heart. So far, I was talking about the realities of conversation and silence. Use of the right words or keeping silence at an appropriate moment are important in life. But let's not forget that our actions speak even louder than our words and our silence. Today's Gospel warns us against hypocrisy and the temptation of judging other people. We need to reject any symptoms of insincere hearts. Let's listen to what Jesus has to say. Why do you observe the splinter in your brother's eye and never notice the plank in your own? How can you say to your brother, Brother, let me take out the splinter that is in your eye, when you cannot see the plank in your own? Hypocrite! Take the plank out of your own eye first, and then you will see clearly enough to take out the splinter that is in your brother's eye. When we criticize others and, at the same time, don't admit our own faults, we have a problem. God will certainly help us to overcome such a weakness, but we have to come to Him with humble hearts. So, let us pray for the gift of wisdom to know how to use our words well, to act with humble and merciful hearts, and to know when to remain silent. Let us be like a good man from today's Gospel parable, who drew what was good from the store of goodness in his heart. May our words, actions and silence authentically express our way of thinking and our sincere love of God and neighbour.